one of the most important parts of your video workflow is to get those videos into the Cloudinary Media Library. You could use the Python SDK to upload your video assets. Let's start off with Cloudinary already imported and configured with your account. You'll be using the Cloudinary Uploader API to upload your video assets. So let's import the library with import cloudinary.uploader. Now we're going to upload a video called short video stored in the videos folder. Let's create a variable to hold that path. To perform the upload operation, run cladinary.uploader.upload, which accepts the video file path as the first argument and specifies the resource type of the asset as video for the second. The upload operation returns a JSON with lots of information about the newly uploaded video, including its delivery URL. Let's save that JSON in a variable called response, and let's print the secure URL from the upload response. Now that the code is ready, you can jump to the terminal and run the script. You'll see a success message with the secure URL of the video. Open the URL in your browser and you should be able to watch the video. Keep in mind that the upload method only supports files up to 100 megabytes. So for larger videos, you need to use the upload large method, which uploads larger files to the cloud in chunks. This method has the same signature and options as the upload method. Now let's break the video upload into six megabyte chunks. You can now run the script again to upload the bigger file. It'll take longer to upload on account of its size, but after it's done, you'll get the same result. Check the URL in the browser and you should be able to watch the uploaded video file. Next up, let's see how we can utilize smart video cropping with Content-Aware AI. 